Hello, let's continue working with the smart assemblies. Here we have the first assembly created uh, and as you see in the additional parameters so we can check the day and time when it is created and the um, configuration type that was used for this current uh, assembly. Let's say we are not satisfied with the part list. So for this one we can create our own schedule as a template that will be used for all other assemblies. So right now it will be multi-category schedule. Uh, you can add uh, the name and let's select columns like category, family and type, um, then the count. Actually you can select any other parameters you, you need. And let's group the category and family and type. And uh, okay, so here we can check and we can see the part list uh, that will be used as a template in our configuration settings. So let's select this schedule as a template. Let's save this configuration. Now we can update current assembly. If you will not select any elements from the dialog from the project, you can go directly to uh, update assemblies and the tool will show you the list of all assemblies that are created in the current project. And with different colors you can see uh, the differences and uh, if the assembly should be updated so the tool will let you know. So that's it. Our part list is updated and now we can uh, add those views into the sheet. You can add those views in the way you need or just according to your company standards. Okay, and now we will use this sheet as a template for all other assemblies. So let's select it here. Again, we have to save this configuration and close the dialog. Let's go to the 3D view again. Um, actually, we can select the uh, elements from the dialog here, but uh, if you have a lot of elements in the project, you can go just directly to Create Assemblies and the tool will, will let you know about the categories that are created in the project. And here every element will be displayed as a separate row. So here you can see that those elements, they don't have, they are not used in assemblies. So we can select those, we can filter those walls and we can just create assemblies. We will not need to select them one by one. And the last one should be updated. Everything is okay right now. And uh, we can check results.